So NASA is looking for other life in the universe, and it may not have to look outside our solar system, which isn't that far. The U.S. Aeronautics and Space Administration is considering putting a lander on Europa. That's one of Jupiter's moons. It's studying a report right now about the scientific value of such a mission. The primary goals of the mission would be searching for signs of life and whether Europa is habitable for future robot explorations. Fortunately, Jim Bell is with us to explain the science here. Jim, you're professor of planetary science at Arizona State University. You're president of the Planetary Society. That makes you one of the best people to explain what's going on. Why do we think that there might be alien life on Europa? Well, Cyril, you know, we don't know if there's alien life on Europa, but the list of places in our solar system where we can go to look uh, for signs of life beyond our own planet is actually pretty small. You know, a lot of effort's been focused on Mars lately, uh, and when we go out farther than that, out into the outer solar system, one of the most exciting potential places for life is Jupiter's large moon Europa. Uh, you know, scientists think that there, you know... And, and just for our viewers, we're looking at it right now. That's Europa. Okay. It was orbiting Wait. around Jupiter. I know you can't see it, but this helps Go on, carry on. Yeah, so, so Europa has this icy crust, uh, like most of the uh, moons in the outer solar system. They're icy. It's so cold out there. Uh, but uh, we think that below that icy crust, maybe 10, 50, 100 kilometers, we don't really know, uh, there's an enormous liquid water ocean, probably larger than all of Earth's oceans combined. We uh, think there's so more water on Europa than on planet Earth? That's, uh, that's a hypothesis, and, uh, you know, it seems to be supported by the data that we have, but, of course, we've never been there. We've never been landing on the surface. We've never been up close at Europa, so that's the focus of, of several so future the, So the, the existence of the ocean isn't confirmed, just a hypothesis at this stage. It is a hypothesis. It's a very good hypothesis. It's consistent with the data that we have. Uh, it's a very exciting hypothesis, and it makes uh, Europa one of those potentially habitable environments in our solar system. I, I want to show our viewers a clearer picture of uh, the, the oceans that you believe, we believe, the scientific community believes uh, is on Europa, and it's all under a crust of ice, as you say. So the proposed lander, the robot that would land on Europa, what would it do? So the idea is to try to find some evidence, some chemical evidence, some mineral evidence, something quantitative that we can latch onto that tells us about the chemistry of that ocean. Uh, is it salty? Are there organic molecules in it? What, it, what is its temperature? Uh, is it the kind of environment that could be conducive for life as we know it? So the lander will go down onto the surface, there'll be cameras, there'll be chemical analysis instruments to measure the ice, to measure the, the rocky or organic component of that ice and tell us what's there. And most importantly, we want to get below the uppermost surface. We want to get down, you know, 10 centimeters or more uh, into the subsurface and see if we can see any evidence of Jim, what that Jim, what, what could be in that ocean? Let me be very candid here. Is it just um, molecular level stuff or could there be bigger organisms? Well, Cyril, we have no idea, of course, right? Um, we don't know how long that ocean has been there. We don't know how warm it is as you go down. If there are, you know, black smoker vents and hydrothermal vents like on the floor of the Earth's oceans, then it could be a very conducive environment for life uh, as we know it. So again, it's, it's one of the few places in our solar system where we can go and test this hypothesis about life uh, outside of our own world, and it's, it's just waiting for us to explore. Jim, very briefly before we wrap this up, is this part of the mission actually going to happen? Is it a lock yet? No, it's not a lock yet. Uh, there's an orbiter that will uh, visit Europa in the mid-2020s, and the hope is that this lander will follow along, that that orbiter will help us decide uh, as it orbits around Jupiter and passes close by Europa where to send that lander. And so uh, by the mid to late 2020s, we may know the best places to land. All right, Jim Bell, thank you so much. I feel smarter after talking to you. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for having me on.